Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we're looking at the brand new Marquez Valdez Scantling. There's no way I pronounced that right, but before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers, so the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button, and I'll also leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I probably will not go live tonight, but I'll try to go live for you guys tomorrow night. So, like I said, link down in the description. Alright, so here is MVS. He's got 95 speed, 84 jumping, 96 catching, 89 catching traffic, 93 spec catch, 85 short, 89 mid, and 96 deep route running. And we do have full go deep and full sprinter on MVS today. But looking at this card's stats, he does remind me a whole lot of another packer in the game, Greg Jennings, both cards have good speed, good deep route running, are both kind of one-dimensional receivers, but very elite deep threats. I mean, with 95 speed and 96 deep route running, MVS is going to have no problem getting open on beater plays um, and stuff like that. So I think MVS is going to be a very good card. Um, the card's also 6'4", so it has good height for a deep threat receiver. Not that height is like make or break like it was in Madden 20. Like, in Madden 20, having good height basically meant you can moss anyone in the game, but in Madden 21, it's not really like that, so... Um, thankfully it's not like that, but after the catch though, MVS is 88 carrying, 88 COD, um, with an 83 juke move and a 76 break tackle. So not the best after the catch. Um, that's kind of why I do like Greg Jennings a little bit better because Greg Jennings is better after the catch than MVS. So it's kind of like a give or take. We'd rather have the height on MVS or the after the catch stats on Greg Jennings. And for me, I would prefer the after the catch stats, but um yeah let's head over to the abilities on mvs he's a deep threat archetype receiver and for x factor me rock and double me um first and second slot will be the exact same he does get reach for it in this slot for one ap by the way with uh, energizer clutch homer return man a uh, matchup nightmare two ap and today in the third ability slot we're gonna be rocking grab and go um whenever a deep threat receiver can get grab and go i usually like to run it it's a whole lot of fun to use feels like human joystick after the catch but he also does get evasive slot automatic outside apprentice and deep in and deep out i'm looking forward to the days when we're able to run you know deep out and deep in on the same receiver i believe they got to be 96 overalls and yeah then they got to be 96 overalls for the deep threats in order to run deep in and deep out which is basically boosted catching on every single deep ball for a deep threat receiver it's gonna be pretty overpowered um once we do start getting 96 overall deep threats but um does get packer team chems the only packers with a go deep and sprinter and today we're running the marquez or is it marquez or marquez i don't know but marquez valdez scanling team standout art all right so let's just hop right into it the plan today is to get mvs the ball in open space with grab and go and i don't think this card's gonna have any kind of problem getting open deep against cover three cover twos or man coverage with the elite speed and the elite deep route running. So, um, yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Game one. His name is uh, Hot Garbage. I did miss his top three, but looks to have a pretty decent team. He does have, you know, Marquise Brown, CJ Ham out there, who is the best, still the best fullback in the game, in my opinion. Um, one of the best, honestly, one of the best offensive players in the game at that. So, the um, guy's got to have a pretty good roster. Oh, right, yeah, he definitely has Cole Pepper. He's also rocking. Okay, good sack right there. Good fumble as well. And we're starting to game off here on the our own 15 yard line so we can't even take a deep shot to mvs right here so i mean it's good and bad at the same time oh right, here we go can we get mvs open here on the cross if it's man coverage we should actually have him i'm gonna try throwing it good dot mvs does catch it but of course it wouldn't be a wide receiver gameplay if we didn't go down at the one yard line and make it even harder on ourselves to get an mvs touchdown but um, at least he did catch it that's definitely a plus they don't always catch those balls Shammy's on a little slant route. Who's, who's, what's he going to do? We should have MVS open. Touchdown. That's pretty easy. Let's go. Toes and bounds. Touchdown MVS. His first of the game and also his first of the gameplay. Now he's doing a handstand. All right. Two back, two running backs in the backfield. Where's he going to go? Throws middle of the field. And there we go. We get a pass breakup on Ebron. Taylor Mays actually playing good man coverage for once. And like I promised, we have a full field to work with. Um, we are on the six yard line right now. So a blitz could be coming. Like a blitz could easily be being dialed up right now. And I'm trying to throw the ball 76 yards and a touchdown. Um, no blitz. Roll out. Roll out. Oh, yeah, shit. We should have MVS. We got an MV we have separation. Easy catch. MVS touchdown. Let's go. One play. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. MVS, if you get caught. MVS got caught. MVS just got caught by Trip Palomalu. Should have an MVS touchdown unless he saw it. He didn't see it. MVS touchdown. Let's go. And he's going to catch it in traffic through the hit. Um, that is our... That, yeah, that's our second MBS touchdown of the day, and he's going to quit on that. Um, let's hop into another game. Let's do it, man. All right, here we go. Game two, we're facing It's Brutal. We're starting off the game here on defense. He's got Josh Allen, Derrick Henry. 
Who's number 10 with the... Is that LaVishka Chenault, maybe? Who is that? Could that be LaVishka Chenault out there? Those are the flat route to Jimmy Graham. So, it has a pretty good team. Um, They're not bad at all. They, this team's pretty good. Did, did LaVishka Chenault get, like, a team builder card or something like that? I'm trying to think. And I he threw that right at Deron Harmon. He threw that right at Deron Harmon. What? All right, let's try the beater here in game two. We don't really have a full field to play with, but, you know, 40... 45 yards should be enough room to you know dial it up here um hopefully the edge rush holds we do have a really good seal um he does clamp down should be an mvs touchdown with ease get it there and that's right over the top oh he's got troy apke yeah that's tough he's got troy apke in that middle third um get a good double team on the outside is he gonna run with it this time he might he tried to but i think it's over the top again mvs over the top again let's go we've had mvs and its beaters so much um, against the cover three against man mvs just getting open on that deep route every single time um because of that speed and that top tier deep route running man that, that's what happens i'm not sure what what kind of play call this is let's just pick that ball off let's go drc out of boy and will he quit and will we have to hop into game three and the more i think about it yo, the packers theme team actually has some pretty good receivers i'm probably gonna miss one but i mean mvs greg jennings and if you add you know Devonte adams short and mid route running in the slot right there that's a pretty good receiving core. You got great speed, um, great route running on, on, for all the routes you basically would want. We get a really good juke. Another one right there from MVS. And there's MVS breaking a tackle. So juke down two defenders and breaks a tackle, gets out of bounds. That's an MVS first down. Let's go. That's grab and go put in work, baby. Um, but let's see if it works. We're actually going to have him. MVS. That, that wasn't even the throw I was thinking of, but there's MVS. Threading the needle. Reach for a touchdown, though. We're down the one yard line with MVS. And now this guy's going to probably use him. Because he, that, the last thing he wants to see is, is another MVS touchdown right now. All right, so MVS does have 85 short route running. Let's see, get to work here. Um, is he going to use it? No, he's not. And we get a good low ball touchdown, MVS. Um, his third of the game and his fourth of the gameplay. Um, I mean, we kind of showed off grab and go on that drive. And also, you know, his 85 short route running, putting in, I guess, some work, I guess you could say. Throws it right on my user. Another interception from Josh Allen. Stop. Oh, I almost got that stop and go. That was kind of an awkward angle, though. Let's see if this guy quits. Kind of a tough throw. Can yeah, Rogers, Rogers gets that there. That's it. That's MVS's fifth TD of the day. That that's that 89 mid route running, putting in work, and that is gonna be. Yeah, he's gonna quit on that. Um, MVS though, seven receptions, 196 yards, and four TDs in one game. Um, definitely not a bad performance. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the MVS gameplay. And this card kind of did everything I expected him to do today. Got open on those deep routes with ease. Felt good after the catch with grab and go. But if you are grinding these standout solos and are looking for a wide receiver, is MVS your best option? And in my opinion, no. I really do like Cordell Patterson better. Uh, I mean, MVS is taller, but Cordell Patterson has the better acceleration. They both have the same speed, not on a theme team, by the way. But um, I like Cordell Patterson so much better because of his after the catch stats. Um, Cordell Patterson, I think, has got like 90 carrying, um, 91 break tackle, great juke move, great COD. If you didn't miss the Cordell Patterson gameplay, there will be a card in the top right for that video if you want to go check it out. And probably also a card after the video as well. But So if you're not running that Packers team team and you do want a deep threat wide receiver, um, I'd probably go Cordell Patterson. But um, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the cheese emoji down in the comment section. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications. If the video helped you out over to the video, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.